Welcome to the Bags Pack Family YouTube channel. I'm Jonathan, and in today's episode, Kelly, the kids, and I are traveling 51 hours from our front door in West Papua, Indonesia, to Kelly's mom's house here in Illinois. While we're here, we're celebrating all the holidays. Kelly and I have to do some Christmas shopping to grab gifts for the kids. We are also going to visit Indiana, visit my family. We're going to head to Michigan, and then we're coming right back here to Illinois on the river to make a huge purchase to help kind of move the Bags Pack family forward so stick around to the end of the episode to find out what it is that we're going to buy it's again a massive purchase and we're excited to share all the details with you so let's get started good morning from Timbagapura, west papua indonesia we are heading out on our winter vacation i can't believe we're going to be gone for five and a half weeks you got the entire crew going down so what we're going to do now we're going to actually we've done something like this before from jakarta we're going to start a timer just to show you how long it takes us to get from west papua all the way to chicago so if i had to guess i'd say 40 hours plus so we'll see but i'm going to start the timer right now okay timer started we'll see how long basically on this trip we are flying from west papua to makassar solo to jakarta at that point, we'll flip to the international terminal and we are flying Qatar Airlines this time around. Qatar from, so Jakarta to Qatar, Qatar to Chicago. These are going to be long flights with a long travel day just to get to the international flights. But yeah, here we go. West Papua, the entire family heading out. Granite. What are you looking forward to most about this winter vacation? Uh, going to Grandma's house. Oh, absolutely. Going to see Dr. Nana. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think you want to do there? Uh, just hanging out with them. Yeah, seeing the family? Yeah. Good times. Plus, you have a go-kart and a Polaris. Yep. So, so that'll, that'll, be, nice. that'll be fun, too. But all right, so now we are approaching the store. You've seen this before in a prior video. Um, we have to wait here for about an hour for the big caravan trucks to come these are these big huge orange buses uh, so we'll go get our boarding passes we will get some coffees from the grocery store and the coffee shop that's in there but either way this is uh marking the journey all right we are on the bus now begins the three hour journey down the mountain here we go yeah to the tamika airports where we're heading yeah bud you got a you got a little pokey stick i got stick two two of them so yummy <laughs> all right well, let's uh check in with the kids we haven't actually started yet all right guys you excited for this uh journey down the mountain yes then to the airplane yep then to multiple airports yep then to multiple more flights yeah then to another airport yep then to a bus yep then to nana's house yes okay how long do you think it's going to take at least like 30 hours maybe. 30 hours now remember from jakarta it took us 33 hours oh, so good. i'm if i were to or what do you think cedar 40 hours 40 hours okay what do you think maybe 40 40 ish all right all right yeah i i put my money on the 40 plus time frame but uh yeah you can see we're just on the bus and off we go
Got him. All right, flight number two, just check it in. It's been 11 hours since we left our front door and we're only to Makassar. This is just like a typical experience when you live out in West Papua, it takes so long. Welcome to Jakarta. We have just wrapped up our domestic portions of our day. It's been 16 hours since we left our house in Timbagapura. So, wow, I mean, that's beyond a full day of travel just to get to Jakarta from West Papua. So, uh, big long day, everyone's tired. It is 9 p.m. right now. Our flight leaves at midnight which is like 2 a.m. our time in West Papua. So here we go into the international side, Terminal 3. Of course, we landed at Terminal 1. So we are heading over to Qatar to drop off the bags and those will be our long flights. So we have a nine hour flight to Doha, three and a half hour layover, and then a 16 hour flight from Doha to Chicago, followed by a bus to get to uh, grandma's house, Dr. Nana. So, all right, here we are heading in. Hopefully this will be a fast process. Everyone's getting pretty hungry. Those of you who are seasoned travelers know exactly where we are. We have just landed in Doha. Now it has been, let me check my watch, 29 hours of travel. And uh, we still have a 15 hour flight to Chicago plus a long bus ride. So it's been, uh, yeah, almost almost 30 hours. Yeah, bye, what do you see? What is it? The big bear? So cool. So guys, any guesses on the number of hours it's been? At least 30 Just under, 29. 29 hours. 29 hours. We still have a 15 hour flight. We have a two hour layover now. So we're going to head up to uh, the one priority pass lounge that's here, chill out, eat some snacks. Get back and on then the plane. Another flight. So, what number flight is this for us? We did, to, well, we did Tamika to, Makas, Tamika to Makassar, Makassar to Seoul, Seoul to Jakarta, Jakarta to here, and then ultimately Doha to uh, Chicago. So, five flights. And we are uh, approaching hour 30. So, ugh, what a, what a ride. Guys, let's head to the lounge. Yeah, Forrest. We're taking four days for Nana's house. We're going to, are you so pumped for Nana's? Yeah. Me too. You too, Cedar? Yeah. All right, guys. So let's head to the lounge. It's right up there. And then uh, we will uh, ah. see you up there. Everybody. Made it. 
Back to America. So it has officially been 48 hours of travel, 48 and a half hours actually, uh, but we are not done yet. We still have to take a train to a different terminal, then do a bus. So we're gonna work our way there now, but you can see, man, crowded for the uh, holidays. But man, 48 and a half hours later from West Papua, but we're still not to our front door. So the timer continues as we work our way now to the Sky Train. Hopefully there's a, uh, hopefully there's an elevator. the bus now to Rockford. It has been 49 hours and 24 minutes of travel since we left our front door. Yep. Still not to your mom's front door, so the timer continues on. I think this bus is two hours? Yeah. Two I or three hours, something like that. About two hours and then um, about a 40 minute drive. Okay, so once yeah, once we get picked up, then another 40 minutes to the front door. So <laughs> we'll keep you going, but yeah, this is the best part because we can sleep easy. You guys doing okay in the back? Yeah. Yeah. Are you looking at all the weird ingredients in those Daddy. Cheetos? Yeah. Yeah, of course. They say no eating allowed at the bus. Is no. that what they said? No. They didn't say that? Yeah. Okay, well, you might be able to munch a little bit. No eating in the bus. Grant, how you doing over there? Pretty good. All right, got your Nintendo? Yeah. Ready to go? Yeah. Cool, man. All right. Know who to look first. Welcome to the Midwest. We are officially back. <laughs> Yay! Man, that so the total time of travel from door to door, from Tembagapura, West Papua, Indonesia, to Kelly's mom's house here in the Midwest, 51 hours and 12 minutes. That's incredible. It's a long trip. Yeah, so now we are dealing with... It's a lot of sitting. Well, yeah, my, <laughs> my backside's pretty sore. But now we have to deal with all the jet lag and um, all that kind of stuff. So the kids are actually napping right now. It's what? Uh, 11.30 a.m. here in the Midwest. And believe it or not, we actually have to get our holiday mode on. It is uh, just before Christmas as we are recording this now. So we have to go buy like kids Christmas presents and... Stocking stuffers and... Things that we've missed, well, not not having access to, I don't know, like pumpkin latte stuff or holiday peppermint flavored things, yeah. things we can't get where All we live. So, so getting our holiday <laughs> game on. So we yeah. are here at Walmart right now. This is kind of like, because Kelly's mom lives in a really small rural town, Walmart's sort of the big epicenter in terms of shopping needs. Yep. So we're gonna zip in there, uh, spend a little time getting the kids, um, yeah, just like some Christmas presents, some stocking stuffers. We don't wanna go too crazy, but we also <laughs> wanna make this like Christmas in the Midwest super fun. Now there is no, it is, uh, it is snowing a little, just a little teeny flurry, mm -hmm. but we were hoping we were going to come home to a bunch of snow and get all that going on, but, uh, take the kids sledding, but maybe, maybe while we're here at some point, it'll, it'll dump some dump snow. Dump some snow, we hope. Okay. It's trying today, so. Well, we're going to head in and we'll kind of show you the Midwest Walmart experience. You ready for this? I'm ready. All right, let's get it on. So the temperature is quite a bit different than Timbagapura, man. It is cold out it's here. It's cold. I'm freezing. I'm not accustomed to this. So when we get to Alaska next year, it's going to be so cold. Yeah. Now, luckily, we'll arrive in the summer, but we'll have a little time to negotiate. But this is like bitter Midwest wind 
And now you can kind of see the blowing flurry of snow, maybe not so much on the GoPro, but <laughs> you get the idea. So uh, yeah. it's gonna take a little adjustment. My face is just freezing right now. Yesterday we were getting ready to go outside and Cedar put on shorts. Uh, yeah, we're like, no honey, <laughs> this is not, not Indonesia. Nope, you gotta go find your pants. <laughs> All right, so in we go. All right, up first, when you think about holidays in America, it definitely gingerbread houses. These are on sale for $9.87. It's the full kit. So pre-made cookies, you just snap it all together. Oh, look at that. Perfect little gingerbread house kit. The kids are gonna love it. Okay, this was Cedar's only request while we were shopping is to get these crazy sugary cookies, which hurt my teeth just thinking about, but she's gonna love them. So there's no price on it. So I'm not sure how much it costs. Couple of bucks. <laughs> Couple of bucks. The American stocking. Now this is the sock that hangs down, you put it on your mantle. It's typically filled with all types of random stuff. So like when I grew up, we had toothpaste and dental floss and oranges and candy. It was just a whole kind of hodgepodge of goods. So we're gonna keep that tradition alive and fill our kids' stockings with all types of weird things. Number one being these um, Parmesan crisps, why not? They are $2.98. All right, got another little stocking stuffer. It's these little beef sticks. So uh, Walmart brand beef sticks made with beef, pork, and chicken. Uh, 3 dollars for 14 so we'll divide that out between the stockings. I found something that's the kids' favorite that we found at Costco one time, but they're here at Walmart too. These are those, uh, like, I don't know, non-GMO uh, fruit roll-ups that the kids love from that they used to eat when they lived in Dubai, so. 718. 718. All right, just for myself, not really for stockings or Christmas related, I am going to get some San Pellegrino. It's just one of those things we cannot get, obviously, in West Papua, Tindagapora. So we're going to grab these here, 12.48 for the 12 pack. For a little flavor, also not a Christmas gift. Um, just for ourselves, we're going to get some Spindrift for 5.98, and the, yeah, this one is blood orange and tangerine. So delicious. Yeah, it should be good. So we're gonna pivot now to some uh, actual Christmas presents and right down here on the bottom shelf, like it's perfect for the kids, a four pack, so I can get involved as well. Like kind of little off-brand Nerf guns, $12.97, plus you gotta get the bullets. $9.97 for a pack of bullets. So this will be a lot of fun at the house. On Granite's Christmas list was a whole list of soccer stuff, so, um, but we couldn't get shin guards, so now I just found them and we're gonna get, send the kids to soccer camp this summer, so. Um, yeah, for $5.98, I'm going to get each of the kids some soccer shin guards. Bath bombs, those are perfect stocking stuffers. This is uh, $1.97 each. Check it out, Mad Scientist Bubble Bath Kit. Forrest would love this. This is $8.88, so I think he has to have it. Okay, another stocking stuffer. Spinny two brushes for $5 each. We'll get one for each of the kids. Uh, unicorn for cedar. Spider-Man for Granite, and a T-Rex for Forest. Oh, good selection, <laughs> excellent. Yeah, it's the stockings are random stuff, so it's it goes from bath bomb to toothbrushes to toys, you never know. Hard to believe that Granite is almost a teenager. I mean, he is only 11, but he is in the deodorant phase. So we're gonna get him this brand, aluminum free, 647. And Granite's getting deodorant. Cedar is going to get a little bit of lip gloss and chapstick. Um, this is 594. So nice little stocking stuffer for her. Hey, check it out. For $3, you can get a little um, hot chocolate cone with marshmallows. So this would be awesome for their stockings. And then caramel oh, corn as well. Nice. So you got the hot chocolate and the popcorn right next to it. Perfect. This is movie night stuff. Yeah, that's ex excellent. Let's, go, let's get three <laughs> of each then, huh? Okay, sounds well, good. Check it out. It's the original candy cane brand since 1906, the Spangler brand. And these are super cheap. They're only uh, $2.74 for the 12 pack. So you saw us earlier in the video grab this kit where you uh, put the whole gingerbread house together, just one in here. But over here, we found this holiday village. There's actually four houses in here. The houses are, if you look, they're already pre-built. So all they're gonna do is decorate them. So that might be a better way to go. So I think what we're gonna do is change out. We're gonna get the pre-built houses where all they have to do is the frosting and the decorations. And we're gonna put this one back. But this, this kit's a good way to go. One of the last things we're gonna to add to the stockings are these little tangerine oranges. I don't know why, but something about tangerines and stockings, it's just the way I grew up. So we're gonna add a bunch of these to the kids' stockings. And this is $6.98 for the whole bag, five pound bag. 
all done at Walmart here. We got that mission accomplished, I would say. Yep. Total price, $206.74. A bit spinny here in America these days. <laughs> but either way, we got three kids. We got their stocking stuffed, and I uh, feel good about it. And a few extra treats for ourselves. A few extra little treats. Well, that was a great time at Kelly's mom's house, Dr. Nana, we really enjoyed it. Part of our experience when we come home for these multiple weeks, either during the winter holidays or the summer vacation time, we always have to split our time between family and that's sort of the uh, balance that we do. So, oh, you see cows. So we'll spend a couple of weeks with Kelly's mom in Illinois and then we'll go see my family in Indianapolis. We typically will then swing up to Michigan and do this whole circular run based on family. Um, so it works out okay, but uh, Kelly, did you enjoy seeing your mom and all that? Yes, I loved it. It doesn't really matter what we do together. As long as we're all together, it's just awesome to have um, family together and just have our time. Yeah, I agree. Guys, what did you like about Nana's house? Mm, what I liked was seeing everybody and my cat and having dinner. <laughs> Oh, and having all the meals together? Yeah. What about you, Forrest? Yeah, bud. Oh, uh, I saw one, so many cows. You saw, you just saw so many cows? Uh-huh. Was that cool? Uh -huh. Back in the Midwest, buddy. Uh -huh. Granite, how about you? Uh, my favorite uh, thing was seeing everyone and getting to watch movies together and cooking together. Oh, the cooking and the, yeah, absolutely. We also watched like a ton of Christmas movies. We went to a really awesome concert, which is sort of like a- um, The Trans-Siberian. Trans-Siberian, yeah. yeah, it was like a Orchestra. heavy metal Christmas themed. It was very cool, so we enjoyed that a lot. Either way, at this point now, we are heading to my sister's house. It's a four and a half hour drive. Basically, we've got farmlands for the next hour, hour and a half until we get to the highway. And uh, we'll get to Indianapolis. We'll spend about a week there. It should be a lot of fun. Yeah, Forrest. But, uh, how did you get to sister? How do we get to my sister's house? Well, we're going to drive there. But where is it? It's four hours from here. Should be fun. Yeah, you looking forward to seeing your cousins? Okay, well, the Indiana trip should be a lot of fun. And then, uh, the, you know, classic American road trip. And uh, off we go. Hey. What's going on in there, mister? Don't go driving away, okay? All right. With the, with the cocktail sauce? Yeah.
welcome to St. Joseph, Michigan, a very nostalgic place in my life. It's where my parents grew up. So anytime my sister and I can, we swing up here and go check out the downtown area. It's right on Lake Michigan. It's a very beautiful town. So we're gonna take the kids out. We'll get them ice cream. We'll get them pizza. We'll visit the candy shop right here in town. So just a wonderful time to get together during the holidays to come to St. Joseph, Michigan. We'll show you all, all that good stuff. Do you know what that is? It's a snow, like you put snow in there and then crop it, and there's a, there's a snowball. It's a snowball maker. You got it, buddy. Are you going to get one of those and throw, them, throw the snow at people? All right, so what did you come across here, Granite? I come across these cool drinks. I think I'm going to get alien snot. Alien snot. That sounds yummy to you? A little bit. All right, all right. Good, good. So alien toxic slime, frosties. Dad's blue cream soda. Yeah, this is a great store, is it not? Yeah, I like it. Awesome. Okay, well, good luck with your uh, alien snot. I need a fart. Uh, is that literally a fart machine? Oh, see you there. You find the coolest stuff in the store, do you not? Way to go, Forrest! Woohoo! <laughs> oh, I can't wait. Maybe we'll have chickens one day. All right, so this is our Midwest winter. Woohoo! Woo yeah, the snow just started. It's actually the uh, end of December here, so we got really fortunate where it just started snowing yesterday. Now, it's not going to accumulate a whole lot more than this, but just being in the Midwest, uh, with all the snow, snow oh, it's falling great. And the kids running around. Yeah, they're going nuts in all the uh, all the Nana gifts. So they've got a couple of cool toys coming our way. As you, you got probably hear. Cedar on the little kids Polaris. You got Grandin on the go kart. And lastly, you got Forrest on the green machine, baby. It's our off-road gang. Yeah, go for it, Cedar. You need a heart? Yeah, oh, it's over there the in the yard. All right, oh, we'll go look at it. Okay. Yeah, so Kelly's mom lives <laughs> on a couple awesome. of yeah, Kelly's mom lives on a couple of acres here, kind of rural. On, so guys. it's it's way out. I mean, there are some other houses, but you know, all this acreage is hers. There's apple trees over there. All these back roads. Yeah, it's just yeah, it's all back roads. I like, know one's okay. driving down here, so just the kids yeah. can really cut loose. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, hey slow down, buddy. Okay, what do you got there, Forrest? Only bring in yours. Only bring in yours. Put this one back down. Okay, so what's going on here? It is actually New Year's Day. Happy New Year, everybody. We're still in pajamas. Uh, basically, yeah, bud. No, this was mine. You got your own in your hand. So the tradition goes like this. If you bring in money to your household on New Year's Day, you will have a prosperous year. To bring in money to your house on the first day means, uh, yeah, a financially su successful year. So Kelly and I have been doing this for years. You know, it's just a fun little thing to do. So if you've not done a tradition like that, I, you know, it's, it's a fun one. So you put just a quarter or a dollar, I just happen to have a $5 bill on your porch on New Year's Eve, and then on New Year's Day, you bring it into your house. Therefore, you're bringing in money on the first day of the year. What do you think, Al? I'm I'm hoping that we're bringing in money. Oh, you're bringing in lottery tickets. All right, so maybe we'll win 800 million. But if not, we uh, you know at least we're secure this way. So being back in the Midwest is always kind of a fun time for our family. Now, guys, what do you like about being back in the Midwest? Um, what I like about it is seeing my nana and yep. my cat and building snowman. Snowman, we did have a little dump of snow. I think Forrest's favorite thing is the green machine. 
Hey, buddy. Do it all right for us? Snowman. All right, snowman. Now, Grandma, what about you? What's uh, kind of some stuff that you are liking about being back here at Nana's house? Just being like around family and playing games and all that. Like, Good times. Games, card games. Yeah, it's just yeah, nice being back, isn't it? Watching, watching football. football, American football. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It's been a while. Now, Cub, what about you? Uh, it's got to be family. Just being around family and having meals together and cooking together and spending time together. That's my favorite. Absolutely. And Grand Eastern American football, yeah. you got a Colts hat on there. Of course, that's Indianapolis. My sister lives in that area, so we got to see all of them, of course, as you saw earlier. But another thing we did in the Midwest, uh, we made a major purchase. So, of course, you know we bought a house in Alaska, but we needed a few other big pieces to help out with that. All right, guys, you want to talk about what we got? We got, we got a truck! Got a new truck, that's right. So right over here, we picked up a 2024 Chevy Silverado 2500 big heavy duty truck. And so part of you are probably thinking, okay, wait, you bought a house you don't live in, you bought a truck that you're not gonna drive it, and you might not be wrong in those thoughts necessarily, but eventually, all the stars are going to align. Uh, we, we do have a plan to end up in Alaska full time and we are gonna need a truck to drive us up there and pull a trailer, all this kind of stuff. But this is the truck that we bought. It's a, again, a 2024 Chevy Silverado 2500 and it's a big crew cab. So the idea here is that we will eventually end up in some sort of a uh, trip to Alaska. I got the car seat, but there's plenty of space in here for the kids. Plenty of towing power to pull a big trailer uh, for when we do end up in Alaska. It's a really big truck. It's a really big truck. I can barely reach the windshield. Yeah, that's the one thing I didn't really consider is Kelly <laughs> scraping the snow off the truck in the winter. It's, I'm not gonna be able to do it. I'm yeah. gonna need a ladder. <laughs> so we will uh, we'll head inside here and kind of give you a, a little bit more information, but again, uh, this was a, a big part of uh, us coming home this winter to pick up this truck. Ooh. Yeah. Jump on in. You have to, it's so big, you have to step up with this kind of side rail here. But either way, yeah, the truck's nice. It's, yeah, it's beautiful. so roomy. Um, there's just a ton of room in here, which is awesome. And I like that you got the extended cab for the kids because their legs are short now, but they won't be forever, so... Yeah, nice we, leg room back we there. also opted for the six seats that way um, You know this pops up. We have a whole six seat in here as a family of five um, It's just nice knowing that if like Kelly's mom ever came up or my sister or whoever we can get one more additional person Or here. if we need to get a dog someday yeah, a dog. Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, possibility. Possibilities. Here, here comes Forrest running <laughs> around So part of being at Nana's house you can see a little blue hat right there is all the toys but yeah so that was uh the big purchase uh this this new truck and <laughs> it's gonna basically sit in kelly's mom's she has a big shed where the car can fit in the shed so it's gonna stay here uh, for the rest of winter we are heading out of the u.s here soon within the week uh to head back to indonesia ultimately to begin the next semester of teaching and yep. uh, looking forward to that so we've really enjoyed our time in the Midwest, seeing family, seeing friends, just being here in the winter has been awesome. Going from Illinois to Indiana to Michigan and back, getting this truck, spending the holidays uh, here with family. It's just been wonderful. Yeah. Getting but, out in nature, yeah, man, running absolutely. around. <laughs> so we are building an entire playlist here in the United States that we're going to be adding to. So if you like this video and want to check out some Alaska content or anything else, do check those playlists out. And we are heading back overseas here very shortly to continue building the overseas playlist. All right, everybody, we'll catch you in the next episode. A little add on here, just in case you were wondering, can Kelly actually drive a truck this big? Well, yeah. proof's in the pudding. I'm cruising. You got it. Nice job, Cal. Woman in her truck. Woohoo.